There's something in the Bahrain air tonight, and I'm not just talking about the sand. Our brightest minds have thrust their brightest ideas into the spotlight of the Sakia circuit this evening as we look ahead once more to a Grand Prix that has thrilled us so consistently in the past. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today with 15 corners and two DRS zones into turns 1 and turn 11. That should create some good passing opportunities. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. Bahrain has showed us many times in the past though, Anthony Davidson, that a good strategy will only take you so far. Beyond that, you need good racecraft and you need good consistency. And a little bit of luck too, I'd say. This is one of those circuits where the safety car always seems to come out just at the right time to condense the field together and mix up the cars on different strategies. It's hard on brakes, it's tough on fuel, and the main overtaking opportunity is down into turn one, where it's easy to outbreak your opponent and potentially have a bit of argy-bargy as well. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. It's Toro Rosso in pole position then. And starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Kimi Raikkonen, and Verstappen, Ricardo, Perez, Hülkenberg, and Felipe Massa, Magnussen, Alonso, Roman Grosjean, and Sainz, Palmer, Stroll, Stoffel van Dorn, and Pascal Wehrlein. Ericsson and Esteban Ocon rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Right, let's be patient going into turn one. We want to be in a good position for the rest of the race. Good luck. 